Thurman. Karima Deli has the floor. Commissioner, mes chers collègues. Commissioner, dear colleagues. It's taken a great deal of work and thought, but we've managed to reach a historic agreement which reconciles climate and the autom automotive field. And that is a great achievement because normally these are protagonist, antagonists. It's an agreement on transition. The replacement of ICE vehicles by electric vehicles. We are moving into a new sphere, not a major revolution. No rupture is possible when we have to ensure that jobs continue to exist. But we have a smart plan which has been agreed upon with industry to phase out ICE vehicles. 2035, the signal to industry could not be clearer. They need to move now because 2035 is the end game. Let me recall, transport constitutes a quarter of emissions in the EU and like commercial vehicles are responsible for 60% of emissions on our continent. So there's no choice. This change has to happen and the industry needs to play its role in ensuring that we're carbon free by 2050. But for that to happen, the industry will need help. We will need to provide support if we're to have zero emission fleets. Companies buy new cars and we should be using leasing for them to encourage the use of hydrogen vehicles and electric vehicles. We need financial assistance to be provided to ensure that electric vehicles are not more expensive than combustion engine vehicles. But unfortunately, unfortunately, Commissioner, I think that we should be careful about how we target our aid. We don't want SUVs, 40,000 euros. They're not necessary. They're not good for the climate or for the economy. Now, the Commission, I know, will actually be presenting a roadmap for CO2 for lorries as well, which will be necessary. Now, for some time now, as Chair of the Transport Committee, I have been a part of this path to change, to turning the page. So please show political will, political courage, Commissioner, over the next few months. This is necessary for the climate. This is what scientists have been demanding. It's part of our responsibility to future generations. They're on the streets, marching for this, asking for action. Thank you.